idea behind the shop was that it was very visual, that we were celebrating books and that the staff really had read as many of the children's books as possible and were able to have conversations with the children about recommending books that they would really love and helping parents to choose books that their children were going to enjoy and that they'd enjoy sharing with their children. You always get a warm welcome, you get very personal service that's tailored to your family and to the specifics of your children, not just generic information. They really will tell you, yes, that's a great book or no, that's not a book for your child. We just wanted families to feel really comfortable and relaxed and for us, if we get a book into a child's hand that's the right book for them, then it's job done. The bookshop has become our friend and the kids love it in here. And bookshops are working to really help promote reading in the community. They're building, growing and diversifying audiences for reading and what's more, they put on really high quality events. We run a weekly Rhythm and Rhyme session. We get authors in, two book clubs a month. We try to make as many things as possible free or very, very cheap, just because that makes it more accessible for families. And we, we were very keen to be part of the community rather than just a business. Bookshops play a really important role in promoting reading for pleasure, particularly in schools, in communities, targeting children and young people, and that's important. The shop front really is just a small part of, of all of the work that goes into this between the festivals, the school book fairs, the outreach, the author events. So we started the festival here and the gallery have supported it by giving us the space and it's free to all schools on delivery. It's a great opportunity for the kids that we work with to meet new authors and to be inspired to read. Reading for Pleasure is a really big thing with the new curriculum this year um, and a love of, uh, of love of reading is so important and this festival promotes it hugely. All of the recent studies have shown that children who read for pleasure have got a better chance of achieving higher GCSE levels, of going on to university regardless of their socio-economic background. So reading for pleasure is hugely important. That engagement with the outside world that you get through books makes a, a massive difference to children's lives. And one of the best ways of doing that is having the author open the book up for the children themselves and welcome them into the magic that's in every book. As we're talking, our business rates have increased from £60 a month to £300 a month and will be going on up to £700 a month if they're not re-evaluated. This has immediately meant that we've had to cut staff hours from staff that we vitally need in order to be able to go out and do the community work that we've been doing. That safe space, that joy of looking through shelves, finding something you didn't expect, um, that can pretty much only be given by bookshops. We need a strong network of diverse local bookshops because they're helping to build a nation of readers, which in turn serves the creative economy. This bookshop caters for everyone. They will have something for everyone. They will respond to local needs. And that is the only way we're going to get everybody reading. Everybody has to read. Everybody needs to read. The magic of the bookshop is finding the right book for you. You won't get that on the internet. You'll only get that from someone who actually really loves reading and really cares about, you know, books in general. And the internet just doesn't, it's a machine. So it's absolutely fundamental that bookshops survive, that libraries survive, and what's more, that we join up the reading universe so that we're all working together to promote reading, particularly to children who need those skills to be able to fulfill their, their future potential.